everyone! Today I'm here with a tag video. I thought I would do something kind of fun and different. I haven't done a tag video before, but I've been just swamped in homework, so I really wanted to just do something kind of fun, and yeah. So here we are. As you can tell by the title, I'm doing the mid-year book freakout tag. I'm not really freaking out. I'm pretty happy. I'm okay. I am just so ready to be done my master's. I'm just so over grad school. So because we're in the middle of the year, that just means I'm that much closer to graduating. And I am really loving the people that I'm going to school with and what I'm taking and everything that I'm learning. But I'm just so done with being in school and just ready to move on and get a job and, you know, move on with my life basically. So. I'm just happy it's the middle of the year. We're just getting through it. We're doing it. We're here. So let's go. So the first question is, what is the best book that you've read this year? And that would be Michael J. Sullivan, Age of Swords. I love this book. I, I can't say enough good things. This book is amazing. The characters are great. The plot is great. The setting is great. The themes everything. I actually cried reading this book and I never cry when I read. So yeah, just really good stuff. I highly recommend starting this series and just so you can get to this book because it is just so good and I cannot wait to read the next one. So the next question is what is the best sequel that you've read this year? And that would be uh, Lady of the Lake? <laughs> what? I had a brain fart there. Lady of the Lake by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is the last book in the Witcher series, in the novelization anyway, um, and it was just so good. It was such a great way to wrap up the whole series and just the stuff that happens in here, the way it's written, the characters, it's all so good. I love it and I'm kind of sad. The next question is a new release that you want to read but haven't and that is... See, Season of Storms, Season of Storms, again, another brain fart, Season of Storms by Andrzej Sapkowski. So this is basically like more short stories that take place during like obviously Witcher. Um, so this apparently takes place in between the short stories of The Last Wish. So we'll see. I'm interested to see how it all pans out and we'll see what happens. Next question is most anticipated release of the second half of the year. And my most anticipated release is The Boneless Mercies and that is because I love Beowulf. And so I'm really interested to see how this goes. It's an adaptation or like a re rewriting. Words are hard right now, obviously. It's a, it's a retelling, that's what I'm looking for, a retelling of Beowulf. So I'm super excited to see how that pans out. The next question is biggest disappointment of the year. And if you've been around here enough, you probably can guess what it is. And that book is Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. And yeah. I'm not getting, gonna get into this, I've gone into it a little bit before, just lots of disappointment. This book could have gone so many different ways and it didn't, and yeah. Just not feeling where it ended, not feeling what happened during the book, and yeah, just lots of things that I could have done without. The next question is, biggest surprise, and I think everyone can agree after watching my last video that it is this book or a collection anyway. Uh, the Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace. I'm not a huge poem fan, poetry fan, so reading and liking this series or this collection was pretty pretty big for me. So I was really happy with this and I'm looking into getting more poetry collections. So the next question is favorite new author, debut, or new to you? So this author is debut, and she's new to me. I mean, she's new to everyone, but it's Tomi Adeyemi, and she wrote Children of Blood and Bone, as you can see. And I was just really impressed with this book. It was super refreshing as a fantasy. It just had so many good things, lots of great themes, characters. I loved the setting. Oh my god. I am like, setting is like porn for me, <laughs> so I can't 
can't believe I just said that, but yeah, I love a really good flushed out setting, so this was great. So I really cannot wait to read the rest of what she writes. The next question is newest fiction crush. So it's hard for me, <laughs> but I would have to say Howl from Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. And I mean, technically I already knew Howl from the movie, but I feel like Howl in the book is just so different and in a good way. I just, oh my god, that end was so cute and I just, it made me love him even more and yeah, I just love Howl. He's just so cute and sweet and adorable. So the next question is new favorite character and that is probably Star Carter from The Hate You Give. I finally read this book, I got on the bandwagon, I'm here, I'm with you guys, I'm ready, and I just really loved Star. She's just so complex, she's stuck in the middle of these two worlds and just really trying to live and enjoy being a teenager while dealing with some very serious adult issues and just the way she dealt with everything I felt was very mature but also very realistic. It wasn't ridiculous uh, fantasy teens or the dystopian teens the way sometimes teens are written in those books. It was just very real and the struggle was very real for her and I really appreciated it. The next question is a book that made you cry. For that one I'm going with Age of Swords again. This is the only book that has made me cry this year. And the reason I cried was just, oh, it was so heartbreaking. I don't want to spoil anything, but this book just, it really just like ripped my heart out and tried to feed it back to me. And oh, it was just so heartbreaking. The next question is a book that made you happy. And that is Flying Witch Volume 1 by, hang with me here, please don't rip me apart, but Chihiro Ishizuka, maybe, I'm sorry. Um, I just really liked this series and this book, this is the first book that I read in the series and it was just so cute and just so like, just like happy and like pretty and everything about it is just so lighthearted and I loved it. So the next question is favorite book to film adaptation that you've seen this year and I actually don't think I've seen any adaptations this year at all. Yeah, that's weird. But I guess if we're going to cheat a little bit, I would have to say Black Panther because that was, you know, initially a comic book. So that's an adaptation. And yeah, I just really loved that movie. It was done so well. And I just, it was great. It blew me away. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to. So that's all I'm going to say. It's a little bit of a cheat, but it's done. Next question is favorite video that you've done this year and that would probably be my IKEA vlog slash reorganization of my bookshelves and that is just because I'm a little bit weird and I love watching people organize their bookshelves so honestly I sometimes like rewatch that video just to see the bookshelves get redone so yeah I love them if I ever do uh, like reorganize my bookshelves again, which I probably will. I will definitely film that again for you guys just because I love those kind of videos so much. I'm weird. It's okay. The next question is the most beautiful book that you bought this year and that would be Children of Blood and Bone by Tony Eddyan. I just love this color. It is so gorgeous. The back is beautiful and even under the flap is also beautiful. So I just can't get enough of this cover it is just so gorgeous as I struggle putting that back. Okay so the final question is what books do you want to read before the end of the year? So I have a nice oh, hefty pile here so I will show you. So the first book that I want to read is The Reluctant Queen by Sarah Beth Durst. This is the second book in the Queens of Renthia series and yeah I am really interested in it. I've read the first one, the third one is out, so I really want to get that, and before I do that, I need to read this one. The next book is Season of Storms by Andrzej Sapkowski. Like I said, it's a short story collection that takes place in the Witcher universe again, so 
just super excited to get into that. This book has been out for a while and it is Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. It is a sequel to His Dark Materials. Uh, Lost Rainforest, Mez's Magic by Elliot Schreffer. This book just sounds so interesting and cute and adorable and I can't wait to get into it. The next three are all Tolkien books, so I am very on brand there. That is The Fall of Arthur, The Story of Kalerva, and Baron and Luthien. So that is everything for this video. If you liked it, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!